Good afternoon. Launched in October 2012, the Office of Public Engagement includes the Royal Secretariat, the Voluntary Nonprofit Secretariat, the Strategic Partnership Youth Engagement Office, and the Access to Information and Protection of Privacy Office. These entities play a significant role in all regions of Newfoundland and Labrador, from providing assistance to youth, community and volunteer organizations, initiating collaboration between business, labor, and government, to facilitate, facilitating consultation and stakeholder engagement sessions. This office is working to support community and economic development. In order for informative and collaborative dialogue to occur, it is important that all stakeholders, including the citizens of Newfoundland and Labrador, have as much information as possible. This is something that the government believes in and is committed to. While we as a government already provide a tremendous amount of information to the public, both in print and online, there is always room for enhancements. We want to improve not only the availability of information, but also the accessibility of that information. Proactive disclosure is an evolving and continuous process, and we feel it's the responsibility of our government to deliver on it. Some recent examples of our proactive disclosure initiatives include information on K-12 school repairs and maintenance, including departmental project approval and expenditures, the online posting of restaurant inspection reports and department salary details. I'm pleased to announce that our government effective today will be posting online completed access to information requests and orders in council retro retroactive to January 1, 2013. Websites will be live this afternoon. Approximately 78 completed requests have been posted and we're working through a number which will be posted in short order. There have been 102 orders in council posted from January 1 to April 9th. Information published related to ATIP requests will include a summary of the request received, ATIP request number, department that received the request, date the request is published, a copy of the final response letter to the applicant with all personal information removed, and a copy of the response of records. Responses to general access requests will be published following a 22-hour period after response is sent electronically to the applicant in the case where the records are mailed to the applicant within five days. The online posting will only apply to general access requests and not requests for personal information. Additionally, any personal information pertaining to the applicant is removed. Other redactions may appear throughout the response of records in accordance with the provisions of the Access to Information and Protection of Privacy Act or where there are cop copyright considerations or ongoing pending court cases. An order in council is a directive issued by the Lieutenant Governor and the advice of Cabinet authorizing certain actions. I would like to state that order in councils have always been available to the public by request. Today, as part of our proactive disclosure initiative, orders in council will be posted online within two weeks after they are issued. These initiatives reinforce our government's commitment to openness and transparency. As a government, we'll continue to make information available to the public, more so than any other administration before us. It is incumbent on us as a government to make information of interest Newfoundland and Labradorians readily available. Openness and transparency is a responsibility which we take very seriously and a commitment to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Our efforts to date reflect this commitment. No doubt this is a work in progress over the next several days. We'll continue to post information and look to enhance the process. I would like to take a few minutes now to just to showcase the two sites. With respect to the completed access request site, all posting are displayed by month and includes a summary request, request number, responding department and date published. This page can be accessed to the main page on the Office of Public Engagement site. The Orders in Council page is a searchable database and includes the order number, the order date, the department, the authority, and the text of the order. This page can be accessed through the Cabinet Secretary website or through the Office of Public Engagement's website. 